Hey, if I had to give this a name, I'd call it the Chick Who Can't Really Sew's Guide to Trying to Make a Quilt. Now, if you like, have ever spent more than 35 seconds on Pinterest, and not just like looking at people's, you know, cute little outfits, you realize that Pinterest and Instagram and apparently the entire American Midwest is filled with these ninja queens of quilting who like iron and buy special quilting supplies and quilting has even gone kind of hipster because you know last month my most hipster friend told me about how she was breaking quarantine because yeah I live in California and we're still under that whole shutdown COVID-19 thing and specifically to go and buy quilting supplies because she had apparently decided to take up quilting in quarantine and she is super hipster if she's doing it like it is the hipster cool fashionable thing to do and she's buying special stuff to quilt with. And at the time, I thought that sounded a little weird. Kind of like, you know, when everybody in California decided to bake bread at home and we ran out of yeast and people were, like, mail-ordering yeast so they could bake their own bread. Because, you know, you are obviously just going to be, like, a back-to-the-lander in a condo in the Marina District. So, whatever. Because, you know, I don't sew. But I do have a degree in American history. And one thing I know about, like, you know, the origin of quilts and, like, some of the great collectible historical quilts is that a lot of them are made out of, like, scrap. Like, you know, stuff... You were trying to make something out of stuff you already had and, and stuff that you couldn't really make anything else out of. Because what do you do with, like, you know, the quarter of a yard of pretty fabric that was left over from making that shirt or that tablecloth or those curtains or whatever? Or the ripped up, you know, whatever you used to wear, but there's still some fabric in there that's good. Well, that's where the origin of quilting comes from, making something out of stuff that isn't that great, which is kind of what Remade in America is all about. It's like, you know, what to do with scraps. And then I was on Craigslist and I found all this fabric that was like, you know, somebody else's like fabric stash. So A, I got all this stuff for free. I did have to wash it like a million times in an entire bottle of Clorox in a gigantic tub outside because the woman apparently had cats. So kind of an interesting experience, but it's all really clean now and smells lightly of like, you know, a swimming pool. You know, bleach, you know, sun-dried will smell a little bit like a swimming pool. So it's really clean, it's all pre-washed, it's all pre-shrunk, and it's all stuff I didn't buy. So I have to say, I think this is like the origin of quilting that I'm going to attempt here with minimal skills and rulers. And I actually have this, like, geometric idea of what to do with the strawberries and the plaid. And I don't have any graph paper, so I can't show you the plan in advance. But this may turn out acceptable, or at least blankety, which is, you know, the origin of quilts. It's not necessarily art, but it turns something that isn't very useful, because a tiny little scrap of fabric isn't very useful, into something that's useful. So, this is the start. This is the promise. This is the stuff. All free. All washed, all clean, all pre-shrunk, all folded. My rulers, I'm going to grab some scissors. I'm going to give this thing a go. Maybe we'll get lucky. So think of this as the chick who can't sew's attempt at quilting when everybody else who's like going full on hipster quilt, ninja quilt, quilting, you know, Midwestern queen quilt type thing. If you're one of those people, you're not going to be impressed by what I do. But if you're somebody who just like wants to try something or likes to do like crafts on the super cheap and doesn't like to spend a zillion dollars on, you know, equipment, this might be useful. Or at least you can like laugh at my efforts. So see you soon.